Hello everyone, my name is Lavina Archers and happy fifth line day to you. You can see that the sun and the earth are in gates 53 and 54 in line 5 and the color motivation underneath is called fear. So before I go into teaching a class today, I recognize that there's a couple of questions from my cartography group. And one of them was from Sammy. She says, I was reviewing the Ajna Center and the fears, and I have a question. If there is a full channel, do the fears still show up? And that is yes, absolutely. And the person has a specific way of working through those fears. Is this correct? And that again is true. They will have a specific way that is correct for them to process fear. Yeah, a unique way to get mental certainty out into the world if recognized and invited to be able to share what they are thinking or processing whatever they know or whatever they sense okay so we're gonna explain a little bit deeper in that uh, Yaska asked I'd also appreciate a refresher on analyzing the fears in a chart and which ones to prioritize when working with a client for me I'll explain a little bit about what I do personally in my process and I'm just going to show you where I taught the information so that if you did go through my classes you know where to find the information in the living or design classes either the basic uh, for all types or the deeper one that is for projectors there's a section that is on awareness center so for those of you who took a basic LYD so that's where we first bring in the fears in living your design why do we do that why do we go into all that detail about each of the gates because of the fears the order that we present them in are going to be from the perspective of oldest right to the most recent now as far as how you're going to prioritize that in somebody's chart in the next class rave abc's we have streams of awareness remember that class where we have the awareness streams so in order to understand where somebody is coming from from their not self and this is what i would address first is because most likely they're going to identify with that and that's how you can hook them because they'll go how do you know you know especially if you're picking on a undefined so a dormant gate potential that is conscious so it's black in an undefined center all right and so that's one of the first places i would hit if i wanted to get somebody's attention on what the problem is because most people are operating out of fear because that's just the frequency of what's going on on our planet today is that most people are stuck in fear yeah insecurity about whether or not they're going to survive whether they're going to make it whether or not they have the certainty so that they can avoid the pain and suffering of mental anxiety or embarrassment they can avoid the pain and suffering of not having consistent health and last but definitely not least they can avoid the pain and suffering of emotional fears in living your design we gave you the fears from oldest to newest and what I added for you in ABCs are streams of awareness. So you want to see where along that stream pathway do they have an undefined trait or gate that maybe they're processing consciously and they're using that gate to make decisions, mental decisions, because of that stark fear that drives all of their mental thinking processes now in rave cartography i'm just showing you where to get um, additional deeper information so that i don't go too deep for everybody in rave cartography i at the very end i said hey guys you want to make sure that you remember these fears some of the deepest driving factors or forces of why people behave the way that they do okay so you want to be know these fears like if you're going to memorize anything, the fear is where you'll be able to have the most bang for your buck, if you will. Now, on the splenic and the uh, solar plexus, we have them together in this presentation. It's the way that I was taught by IHDS to teach it. The order I was taught is that you go with the Ashna first in rave cartography, and then we go to solar plexus 
and splenic. So you'll see there's the seven survival fears at the very end of the presentation, the splenic center, obviously. And then you'll see the solar plexus fears at the very end of the presentation. You'll notice that the, the words aren't any different than what you learned in your basic living, your design. It's a reminder here. Yeah, so it's definitely where you want to go. Now notice how in RC, rave cartography, we went through head and ashna first because the ashna is the key to waking up. So one of the things that you want to do when you're looking at somebody's design, you want to see where are they operating from. So what is the primary not self? What are the conditioning factors? What's going on with them? Asking them questions that get them in touch with why they're, you know, what's on their mind, literally what's on their mind, and why they're there talking to you. So obviously, if you go to the body graph and you say, oh, well, so why are you here today? Or would you like to share a little bit me about what's on your mind or what's going on in your life? You know, just being able to kind of see where they're at, you can start to listen for the keynotes of what they're worried about. So if they're worried about, oh my gosh, you know, I really don't know what's going on and I feel so stupid and I want to go get this certification because I, I'm really sure that if I knew everything there is to know about this and that, then I'd be important and then I'd be able to get things, more things done and I'd be safe and secure. My job would be better, blah, 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 blah. So if they're talking from a place of blah, 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 all of these different not self reasons why somebody might convince themselves or talk into their lives to try and get your agreement, get confirmation from you that they're making the right choice because that's what the not self does. It wants to make sure, it wants to have certainty that if I do X, Y, and Z, I'm going to get what I plan, which is never the case for an abstract person. So you want to start with them. What are they presenting with? Yeah, I could give you all kinds of priorities from the body graph and say, oh, there, there's this rule and there's that rule. You're going to learn that when you go into um, analyst training course, if that's right for you. But at this point, I don't have time to train you on all of those techniques and, and ways of approaching the body graph. So my practical nature wants to ask you to look at what they're presenting you with as far as what they're talking about. Where are they talking from? What voice are they using? I think, I think, I think, I should, I have to, I must. And where is that pressure? What's going on in their lives? And what, what is it that they're afraid of? That so, they're so desperately afraid of that they want confirmation from someone else that they're doing the right thing. Okay, so that's my biggest tip at this time. I hope that that helps. So if I had to prioritize where to start with somebody as far as their not self-awareness centers, I would go there first for the fears, right? Because that's where the fears are. Take a look at that splenic center because we, we can see that Lavina has her own way of processing this kind of fear. So I'm, I'm going to ignore that. If I'm not talking about authority, then I'm, I'm not going there. Yeah, if I'm going to their mental state, the conditioned not self behaviors, the adaptive strategies that they've used throughout their life to try and find the physical well-being here, this is, these are the fears that are correct for me to learn from. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four there. Now, what do I have up here? Nothing. So do I have no fear? Absolutely not. I have tons of mental anxiety in the not self. And what are the gates that are pointed uh, at? The 24 and the 43. So those are going to be my mental conditioners. That's a term that you use. We learn in rave psychology. Mental conditioners. It's the thing I also bring up in um, the Living Your Design uh, guide training course so that people understand. These mental conditioners, so for me 24, fear of ignorance, and for me 43, fear of rejection, my, my insights being too weird, those fears will keep me frozen in a state of mental agreeing with the other and not wanting to argue what I see differently from them. I will not say anything. I will just take it in. I won't know what to think when I'm being conditioned because I'll be having so much data coming through that open Ajna center that I will have all kinds of I don't know processing happening because it's overwhelming. It's too much thought process. I don't have a place to stick 
that process. You'll notice that I do my best to teach from what I heard Ross say and my interpretation, obviously, of what he meant by certain things, especially if you're asking me a question. Okay, so those are mental conditioners when a gate is pointed at an undefined trait. Those are my primary mental conditioners. However, what's happening in the 634, the 1762, the 6447, the 1156 is I'm deeply susceptible to taking in that other person and being dominated by their channel. Meaning, I will take in and amplify their fears. And then I will blame the other person because it's a whole channel. Oh my God, that person isn't certain of their beliefs or their beliefs are really, they're mentally anxious about their beliefs, or that person uh, isn't certain about their answers, you know, their logic, their thought process, or that person is blah, 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 blah. I'll, I'll have judgment about the other when I'm taking them in. And from that observation, if I can not identify with their thought processes as my own, but take it in and just observe, not make any mental decisions from it, but just observe. That's where I gain true wisdom. So if you look at this chart, an undefined Ashna has the ability, totally open now, has the ability to be wise in all areas because there's no conditioning receptor. Now the conditioning receptors are the gates that are in undefined functions. So those are the things that are my, anybody's, addictions to fear, addictions to amplifying fear. So where I fulfill my purpose is in an environment where people are running around thinking that they're afraid of failure and looking for tranquility in order to be able to um, get over that fear of failure. Okay, that's the people that I am here to particularly witness and see. Now, they're, they're going to think that growth is the answer because this is my nodal environment. And that's out here in the undefined sacral center. So oftentimes I get attached to or invited by, recognized and invited by 53s and 54s because I have that 42-32 combination. When you're looking at the undefined fear state, what happens is amplification and distortion. So the fear of not achieving life's purpose unless I shake hands with the devil, not I, but the people around me, because the nodes are not you. The nodes are the path that you're walking. The nodes are what people in your life are dealing with. They're not you. It's just where you fulfill your purpose. If you don't, if you're not around here and you don't see this, you're not, you're very far from being able to fulfill your purpose. So you can see that where I fulfill my purpose is in survival instincts. Yeah, because that's what we call it in BG5. It's the splenic center. It's our instinctive, intuitive awareness. And when it comes to my own health and safety and security and survival, I have an alertness to the conditions for manipulation, a really unusual one. And my fear is of the past baggage, unusual past baggage catching up with me, which is definitely true. So if I make decisions from my fears of being inadequate, from my fears of past baggage catching up with me, and from the environmental fears that I'm picking up of fear of failure and fear of not achieving my purpose, if I was frozen in fear, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to let go of these fears. So if I were to try and prioritize with this person, this chart in front of me, I would start them off with their survival instincts personally. But it's because there's so many different activations there that are uh, hooks, if you will. Not only that, we have two mental conditioners, the 50 and the 18. And I know from my dream rave design that the 50 is my weak point and that my dad's design has an 18. And every single person that I've um, managed to look at that I had a significant relationship with had an 18. So I know that those are deep, deep, deep draws for me looking for health and safety and security and well-being, you know, all of that, learning about that stuff. This is where we learn. So what are we learning? Specifically, those fears are like a, 
attuned to the environment. I wish you could see me talking. I'm, I've got my hands out in front of me. It's like my fingers are waving, like they're feeling out into the environment. Where's the safety? Where's the security? These are the hooks to be able to process intelligently the fears for our survival. They're my fears that I'm here to learn wisdom about, specific wisdom about, okay? So when somebody has, let's say a 26, my husband and my daughter both have a 26, when they hook into me, now we're both learning about how this channel shows up and fears, fears of the past. In order to make decisions correctly, I have to stay away from spontaneous fears. So that's where I would prioritize is, okay, this person is, is definitely locked into hanging on or holding on to things that don't serve them, especially people. It's a codependent kind of chart, you know, being a projector, being a wide split, having a highly activated and undefined splenic center. I would personally prioritize that. Now with the undefined ashna, 43 and 24 was where I would pri prioritize, yeah? Because that person is going to recognize. And I remember coming to human design in 2012, I could rationalize anything. That I was really good at rationalizing things. I could rationalize any purchase. I could rationalize any behavior. I could rationalize, rationalize, rationalize. Yeah, justify, excuse, make excuses. Um, mentally to rationalize my behavior <laughs> or other, others' behavior. Okay, so the gate 24 is about rationalization. And the gate 43 is about insights. So wanting to be certain of my insights, wanting to be certain of what, you know, how to process inner truth, how to make sense of it, how to know, how to express, explain my knowing. That's a uh, not a specific wisdom because look it's not specific there's not a, a trait a planet there a dormant potential planet standing in a gate think of the gate as a, a portal or a doorway so that planet my plutos are standing in the splenic center with an outstretched hand going hey let me learn from you 16 on the other side and it's not just that they're learning from the 16 on the other side. They're learning from any way that the splenic center lights up and bing, now these fears are on. Okay? So I'm hopeful that that helps make sense. You wouldn't necessarily need to, when you talk to this person about their fears, go into any of these places here because, look, nothing is pointing at the rest of this solar plexus. The only gate that I do have is the fear of what may or may not happen. That fear gets processed by my emotional wave. So I'm hopeful that that helps a bit. And um, I think I'll stop there to try and keep things simple. Let me know if you have any questions.